Hello everybody. Today we are going to create purchase order automatically in SAP MR. So the steps involved here is I am going to create a material, automatic material, automatic vendor. Now and then I am going to create purchase info record. Then I am going to source list. And then I am going to create purchase requisition, purchase order, goods receipt and invoice, vendor invoice. Okay. Before that, there is one more step wherein I am going to create purchase order automatically here. Purchase order, automatic purchase order. Okay. Let's go to the live system. This is my system. Go to XK0. I am going to create it in ECC. I am going to create a vendor. Company code double one double one purchase organization double down double one double one accounting group triple zero. That's it. Okay. Now HK Industries India Chennai. HK HK IC Country IN India. Press enter, enter. But consolation account, cash management group. Enter, enter. Order currency INR. Okay, here I'm going to select automatic purchase order. Just press enter. Save. So this is my vendor, 7001255. I'm going to create another vendor. Okay. JKI Industries Private Limited Chennai. JKI I C H E Chennai. Okay. Country IN. Same, I'm going to create vendor. Same process. Order currency INR. Select onto this automatic purchase order. Now, another one more vendor I have created. 7001256. Okay, now I'm going to create a material. MM01. Mechanical engineering. Raw material. Steel pipes. Each. Here, select purchasing group. Select automatic PO. Select automatic. Present. No MRP ending. Valuation plus 3000. 7237 is my material. 7237 is my material. Now let me create info record ME11. Plant is 1111. Enter vendor material plant 1111 purchase organization 1111 plant 1111. Present. Order currency and rent. Standard quantity 100. Net price 1100. Save. Now, another one more. Double five. Double five. So, vendor. Another one. More. Standard quantity 100. 1200. Net price. Save. Okay, no, now I have created info record for these two vendor. Info record for these two vendor and one material. Now I'm going to create source list ME01 source list for this material. Vendor source of supply. Generate. Now click on to generate records. Continue. Save. Okay, I have created source list also. Now I'm going to create purchase acquisition ME51N.
source determination. Select this source determination. Enter 7237 material. 7237 is my material. Present. Plant double one double one. Storage location is also double one double one. Quantity 100. Net price is dummy price. Valuation price is dummy price. Okay. Select onto this. See two two vendors has been displayed. Okay. So this is has come from source list. Source list, source list refers purchase info record. Okay. Purchase info record refers vendor master and material. Okay. I'm going to select this, whichever is the least one assigned source. Now save. PR. One double zero one double seven one three is my PR. Now I'm going to create automatically purchase order. I'm going to create automatically ME fifty nine yen automatic PO ME fifty nine yen automatic PO okay. present. Okay, delete this. Let me delete this. Let me delete this purchase organization also. I'm going to keep this plant alone. Double one double. Execute. Okay, see here. This is my this is my purchase order. This is my purchase order. Four five triple zero one double eight PO. Four five triple zero one double eight six one is my purchase order. See, it has been created. Purchase order has been created. See here for this purchase requisition. Okay. Now let me come out. And I want to goods receipt for this MI GV. Purchase order. Let me take this purchase order. Enter this purchase order here. Not at release. We have to release the purchase order. We, where, where we are going to release this? ME 29 yen. Purchase order, other purchase order, enter the purchase order here. Release strategy, release this and save it. Now come back. Let's do goods result of my gym. It takes a bit of time. Go to my gym. Okay, now item okay, post. Item okay, post. Okay, now let me do invoice, vendor invoice. Go to MI RO. Enter date. Enter purchase order number. Select tax, F1. Select here also, F1. Enter baseline date. Go here to the basic data. Calculate tax. See this amount. 1, 2, 3, 2, double, 0. 1, 2, 3, 2, double, 0. Now save it. Now over. 
Thank you. Thank you very much.